Lions TV, we are sponsored by Regal Elevators and Lifts Consultants Limited, a company that is owned and operated by a Millwall fan, just like every single one of the sponsors that you can see in and around my huge boulder head. If you are going to do a bit of business, then please keep it in the Millwall family by checking out all of our sponsors' website links in the description below. This is your pre-match prediction for Saturday's home game against Stoke City at the Den. I couldn't paint a more perfect picture. Gary Rowett's first job as Millwall manager is to face the club that sacked him in January. And of course, our current player of the year, Lee Gregory, returns to the club after leaving us for Stoke in the summer. Stoke will almost definitely sell out the away end and it should be a brilliant atmospheric Saturday afternoon in South Bermondsey. Let's start out by taking a look at the 11 that Gary Rowett might pick to start the match. This will be almost impossible to call what team and formation that Gary Rowett will go with. All he's got to base it on is what he saw on Tuesday night. I don't think that would have bowled him over. But um, I think he'll probably go 4-4-2. And I'm not going to tell you the team that Rowett would pick. I'm going to tell you the team that I might go with. I would go Balkowski in goal. Jason McCarthy right back. Murray Wallace left back. Sean Hutchinson and Jake Cooper, central defence. I'll go over central midfield three. Sean Williams, Ben Thompson and Jed Wallace. I'll put Shane Ferguson on the right. I'll put Conor Mahoney on the left or the other way around, whichever you like. I'm not fussed. And up front, the goal machine, the main man is Tom Bradshaw. I think that's the best we can go with at the minute. It's not ideal having Fergie in there um, on the left or the right, in my opinion. Mahoney's got to come back in. We've got to get him playing again. And other than that, I think that's pretty much the best side we can go with. Um, I'd be tempted to bring Scalat back in once he's fit as well and put him on the right. But Jeb Wallace, I'm up my wits end with it. Jeb Wallace can't play on the right. He's completely wasted on the right and his, his quality of crossing isn't good enough. He's much more effective and better for us in the centre of midfield. As I said, Marlon, love him. Marlon Romeo is, is not going to be a right back in his career. I know he's been playing right back, but he's not a right back. Playing Marlon right back doesn't suit and show his best attributes as a player. And I'd like to see Marlon play either right midfield or, or even as a holding a holding midfield player because he's got the pace, he's got the legs, he can put the tackles in, he can go on forward runs, but he's not a right back, I'm sorry. And Jason McCarthy now has to come in and get his chance. One up front works better for us because if we play two up front, uh, Matt Stiff plays up there, we start shipping long balls and it just absolutely buries us um, positionally, uh, tactically and buries um, in, in our soul. It's, it's painful to watch, so please don't do that. Play one up front. Play Jed just behind, and then Williams and Tomo in the centre of midfield. And I think we could have a very productive Saturday at the Den. So let's move on to the opposition. It is, of course, Stoke City. I just had to post on the Lions TV WhatsApp group who is Stoke's manager, because when I looked, he said it was Nathan Jones. I thought he'd been sacked. Looks like I was wrong. And as luck would have it, just at the time they're about to play Millwall, they start getting results. They have won only two games all season, but they've won two of their last three games against Swansea, and Fulham. Lee Gregory's been on the score sheet, although it was a penalty. And he missed an absolute howler, though, on Tuesday night when they was back down to earth with a bump, losing 1-0 to Sheffield Wednesday at Hillsborough. <laughs> the one to watch for Stoke is going to be the aforementioned absolute salt 10 out of 10. Our ex... I oh, nearly said the man of my dreams. <laughs> I genuinely nearly said the man of my dreams. I don't, I don't need rumours like that starting around about me. Um, I am completely straight. Not that there's anything wrong with being the other way. But um, Lee Gregory was the striker of my dreams. Let's just put it that way. And um, he comes back. Please, Gregors, do not come back to haunt us. Please don't come back to haunt us. If he scores, I'm pretty sure he definitely won't celebrate. And listen, let's give the man a bit of respect. OK, we've got Tom Bradshaw now. It looks like we're better off. But Lee Gregory was a phenomenal player for our club. An absolute workhorse. Did everything right. Scored goals occasionally, but it was his work rate more than anything. Scored a lot of goals for us in League One. Give us some fantastic memories as a player. So please, please. I know some of you are going to do it. So I don't even know why I'm asking. Don't boo the fucker. Let's give him the respect that he serves. Maybe give him a bit of shit during the game. But full time, I'd love to see him do a little lap of honour. Um, I don't think that'll happen. And hopefully, you know, he won't be in the mood to do a lap of honour because we're going to beat him. This is your pre-match prediction. And here we go. I'm trying to be a little bit more smiley happy and energetic because someone commented on my last video and said, mate, you look like you're done with it. You look like you're going to fold the channel or hand it on to someone else. I won't be folding the channel for one. And for two, I definitely won't be handing it to anyone else after the amount of time, effort and money I've put into it over the last three or four years. So I may be open to offers of buying it. Hashtag pay me. But um, no, I won't, be, I won't be folding this channel anytime soon. I've got at least another three and a half years in me before I decide what comes next. 
But right now, let's get back to Saturday's game at the Den. I think it's going to be a high-energy, high-scoring, absolute fiasco of a day in South London. I'm going for a 3 2 Mill will win. Tom Bradshaw will get two. And Jed Villar, if he plays central, to uh, maybe even get a penalty again. I know he don't need to be central to, to pop up and get a penalty. He can come from anywhere on the pitch. But Tom Bradshaw, two. Jed Wallace, one. Three, two. Gold Fest. Gary Rowett, first win. Let's all go parting. So that's your lot for this pre-match prediction. Please be sure to check out the fan score prediction from the other boys at Lions TV. That's going out in and around this video. And if you think you know what the score is going to be, do not be shy to pop it in the comments below. All that's left for me to say is I will see you in beautiful South Bermondsey on Saturday. Please subscribe to Lions TV. Come on, you Lions.